William Hayes isn't looking out for himself anymore. He's now caring for his two elderly parents. That's a lot of responsibility. It is, but all at once. If it weren't for this affordable housing unit in Renton, they'd be back in a motel. Still be paying, you know, to twenty-eight to three thousand dollars a month for a hotel. Affordable housing is keeping Hayes off the streets. Housing paid for through a program that Senator Maria Cantwell wants to double over the next ten years. This doesn't matter whether you're in Spokane or Walla Walla, whether you're in Yakima or Vancouver. We have a housing crisis in the state of Washington. This morning from D.C., the senator introduced the Affordable Housing Credit Improvement Act of 2019. If passed by Congress, the new legislation would fund more than 10,000 housing units in the state over the next 10 years an expansion to the existing program. Money that would go towards building apartment complexes just like this one in Renton. It opened just this year. We were full within two months of opening. What does that say to you? It says to me that there's a desperate need for this housing, but that's no surprise to me or to anybody who hasn't been living under a rock. This complex has 43 units. The one next door holds dozens more. Housing the formerly homeless, veterans, and low-income families. People like Hayes that don't plan on going back to the streets anytime soon. I used to be one of them. I've uh, been homeless four times in my life. You know, but uh, they want to try to keep me down, but you know, I'm too strong of a person. So. In Renton, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.